So Shivani's in the ring to introduce Darby Allen and Sting. Sting comes out. Uh, Darby's out there. Tony Shivani's like, on behalf of Tony Khan, we got your present. It was 35 years ago on this network. TBS put Sting on the map. Sting put TBS on the map. I don't know how true that is. Tony Khan has a special gift for Sting, and it's the Nature Boy. And Ric Flair comes out, and he goes, "Yeah, you're the you're the greatest I've ever been in the ring with. You're the nicest guy in the biz." He says that about everyone. Then he goes, "And I can't wait to be here and ride this ride out with you." So Sting. And also, Flair might have his last match in AEW, dude, because he said he wants to have one more. And he's riding out this wave with Sting, he's saying. And now, apparently, he is signed up and with AEW, like, fully. Like, he tweeted it out. So he's with them, and he'll just do appearances with Sting. And it's Flair and Sting. And so people were roasting. I just think it's, like, hilarious that Ric Flair's his gift from Tony Khan. Like, these two guys wouldn't just call each other on the phone. And what are they going to do? Team with Darby? Like, Ric Flair's fucking with Darby, of all people. Flair and Darby, two complete opposites of <laughs> what they've I done can't believe the business. Fucking, I can't believe it wasn't a belt. I really thought it was going to be yeah, dude, some new sting it. belt. But but here's you know, the he thing, man. Here, here's the thing. So Flair's going to ride this wave out. He's going to do appearances. He might even do a goddamn match and tag with Darby and Sting in a six-man or something. Hopefully not. Obviously, Edge is going to be their partner against against Christian and all that. But the thing is, is who comes out in a second. But the thing is, is like, dude, his gift was Flair. No, Tony, that was another gift to your goddamn self. A, B, all the <laughs> AEW fans are like, oh, Vince McCorpse and Vince McFucking, he he's a uh, he grapes women and stuff. But then, what about Flair's accusations? No, it's great. And then fuck it, and not, and I'm not one of these guys. I'm not even saying accuse any of these guys. I'm just saying like the, it's always this mentality of good for the good for me, not for the or whatever with the AEW. Yeah, no, for um, sure. And then people were memeing this, like quoting the same tweet that Tony made about Undertaker and John Cena shitting on these legends and then they're like yeah this is the first time sting and flair were on tv under a million and that's exactly it tony just kicked himself in the ass this is why we call this shit out in the live because in hindsight just looking at history tony you're only making an asshole out of yourself this is going to bite you in the ass when you have edge and flair and omega and they don't get a million this just reflects poorly on yourself and you don't even have the fucking self-awareness to understand that that's the problem well, God, and, and most of all, he was saying, like, they need Undertaker. It's like what Jericho said. Fucking they have to use old timers and this and that to get over it. So like Jericho, what a fucking used... goofball Jericho is, dude. For real. Hey, lately, man, Hold he's on. been such a goof. Like, let's be real. And hey. I love and I and I and I love Jericho. He is one of the goats to me, dude. He's on like, I don't know, one of my all timers. But just the shit he's saying, like, come on, man. And I get it. Befriend the fucking billionaire. Get the checks. But Jericho, yeah, man, you're shitting on guys that you fucking rode the roads with and shit. I just find that weird, bro. Like, I, I, phew, I don't know. Sorry. You go out. I, I, maybe he's just like, yeah, you mark. I'm working. And it's like, yeah, fair enough. But he's like, yeah, you're talking about it on your podcast. That's and fair enough. But ultimately, yeah, man, Jericho, yeah. you rode the roads with these with Taker. Don't shit on Taker. You did. They just brought in Flair talking about bringing in old timers. Sorry, hairline. You go ahead. Well, like most of all, man, like AEW finally created a moment here with Ric Flair and whatnot. Yeah, we're always saying they don't make moments, so like we got to give the flowers when the flowers are meant to be handed out, bud. So yeah, man, and Tony, Chris, you fucking did it. You did it, bud. And so Christian comes out with Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne. Ugh, Nick Wayne, <laughs> so doesn't fit in this whatsoever. I, I honestly do like I thought the woo was gonna be taken out by SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? In the intro for fucking the WWE intro, Never. how fucking woo! I was like, oh man, they for sure are cutting that shit out, but it was no, still there. So. They'll never do. They'll never take that out. Now, I think Ric Flair said that that's like he fought for that, and him and Vince, like that's like a Vince thing. Like that will never be taken out, uh, and it shouldn't be, man. But anyways, because everyone knows why Flair's there. No one will ever grudge Flair for going and getting a bag. Vince would never begrudge Flair for that. So anyways, though, Nick Wayne just 
it's so like imagine if you had Wardlow in this position or Hobbs in this position or what one of these other guys hook even in this position hook hey your daddy Taz he's a chump and I'll slap him around on commentary hook you're coming with me that would be way better instead they're talking about Nick Wayne's dad RIP never I'm not disparaging his father in any way right I'm just saying no one knows who the fuck he is and they literally call your mom Nick Wayne's mom on their website, when they tweet it out, on everything. It's Nick Wayne's mom. No one knows you people. I'm sorry. We love you, your family, what he contributed, all that. No one's, I'm not shitting on the fallen. I don't know what the dead. We'll just put it out as. But what I'm saying, imagine Taz being in this, oh, father shit with Christian, and Taz is there. Yeah. And it's Hook sure. and Taz. Come on, man. You guys. So, anyways, Christian Cage, though, he just, this was brilliant. Tony Khan's a billionaire. The best gift he gave Sting for his retirement, he calls, he's like, it's a fucking gold chains and a black liver. Boom. That was just like, Darby, how's your arm feeling? And I don't want to wait till revolution. I want you to be gone right now. I thought they were going to come and beat down Flair and he was going to get color. But um, <laughs> anyways, we're going to see a match between all these guys. Your thoughts on all this, Airline? Yeah, man. So it's basically like I said, there's they finally created a moment. Sting said he's allergic to jackasses, and it's all like, I don't know how true that is, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit of jackasses over the fucking years. Renee Paquette's backstage with the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. Darby Allen and Sting interrupt, and Copeland again, he's getting old for me already. No, I told you guys, eh? I'll never fight Christian. He's my bud. I fuck this. So then Darby <laughs> and Sting interrupt. Adam, Adam, I know you came to WWE to yeah, ride no off shit. in the sunset with your best friend. Or WWE, I said AEW. So, but it's the uh, Nick Wayne could be garbage. So, anyways, we're gonna get Flair accompany Darby Edge and Sting to the ring to wrestle Christian's family, bro. Come on, oh old timers and legends. And then so this Edge and Renee shit here quickly. Fucking no, Darby. It's not kill or be killed around here. It's hug or be hugged. God damn it. Um, <laughs> and then so- Sting goes. I'm sorry that I interrupted you, even though he wasn't interrupting anyone. Um, yeah. Like, no one was talking when he said that. Uh, and then Sting pulled out a fucking, an, an actual fucking wrestling promo, you know? A, yeah. a wrestling promo emerges on this People shit now. on Sting, but I've always enjoyed his promos because they were short and sweet, and he just did shit to pop the crowd. I always was yeah. down. His heel shit was always cringe to me when he's trying to be the Joker or do, like, or do, uh, like, no, wolf, wolf pack Sting. I don't know. He goes, me and you go way back, Edge. And it's all like, what do you, what? <laughs> what? So, what? what? what yeah i know it's, it's, so a they just inventing their history like wwe i guess wwe does that too but 